Guess what your girl got? I brought my caramel today. <laughs> What's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl Jay and I'm back to pop my sh again. So today is Tuesday, January 4th. Um, it's currently about 1 o'clock. Um, I decided to get up, get dressed. Well, I'm not really dressed. I literally have on sweats and shirt and just a coat. Um, I kind of just did my makeup just a little bit. Um, and yeah, I'm about to go run a few errands and I'm just taking you guys with me. Um, some of the stuff that I'm doing today I can't film uh, for purposes and not subscribe to this channel do not forget to hit the subscribe button right below hit the post notifications bell so you can know when i upload and also would that make y'all see me right a little bit and also if you are subscribed to this channel what's up gang make sure y'all like spam the comments y'all already know this is a conversation a topic that i've been wanting to speak about so much ever since i started working in this industry and because a lot of you guys are always asking me questions that pertain to the conversation so we're gonna get into that but right now i'm about to go run my errands um probably pick me up a uh, frappuccino because i need some energy like i've been kind of drained these past um just these past couple weeks and stuff you know celebrate my birthday and stuff so i need me some little some little caffeine to get me up so that's what i'm about to go do run quick errands and i'm come back and see y'all so we can have a conversation so yeah also if you guys did not check out my last vlog um which is like my bottle girl birthday vlog make sure y'all go watch that please and yeah i'm so before we get into the video, Duval was nice enough to send me these titanium professional styling flat irons. Um, this company has sent me um, stuff before. They sent me the beauty um, skincare machine. Also came with a glove. And yeah, it's very, very shiny with titanium plates. It goes all the way up to 450 degrees. And I will say that this was my first time with titanium flat irons. I think maybe this will work better with maybe some heat protecting oil or heat protecting spray that I did not have because I didn't need it with my other flat irons but um, I did like the finishing product of these and it was really really handy to use today um, I did use it over my hair that I didn't touch in about like three days so that's the reason why my hair was kind of looking a little a little crispy and crunchy I know I need to reinstall my wig too but Nonetheless, these flatters got the job done. My code is J70 for 70% off. Description box will have all the information below. Thank you. running my errands and stuff i'm actually on the way to mcdonald's to give me a frappuccino i had starbucks the other day and i don't know maybe it was that starbucks location but i didn't like it because it's not one that's close to my house but um i'm gonna see if this one because the mcdonald's by my house don't be having the caramel frappuccinos and y'all that's like one of my favorite things it's probably like one of the only couple things i still get from mcdonald's like I just love their car caramel frappuccinos, but I like the ones from Starbucks too. Can I get a medium caramel frappuccino? Oh, that's, that's all. And so now we're gonna talk about this. You guys ask me questions all the time. Basically, do I have to look a certain way? Do I have to have a BBL? Do I have to have my body done? Do I have to have this? Do I have to have that? If you're in the, in the Atlanta area and you're, you you kind of work in the club industry and you know this, that, and the third, you know this lady, she posts like all the casting calls. And she don't just do clubs. She even do like regular jobs too. But she posts like a lot of jobs that are hiring in, in Atlanta. I'm not going to say her name just for the sake of this video or whatever i'm not gonna say her name however i do watch her page sometimes to you know for casting calls and stuff like that so if you are in atlanta and you are looking for like club jobs or just jobs in general and you want to follow her page dm me so i can give it to you i'm not gonna give it on here because i just don't want her to be bashed because that's not what type of video this is it's not no bashing video i just want to talk about the things that she said and how 
how and what and what's my standing on it because I do get asked this a lot. So as y'all can tell by the title, this is titled Colorism and Clubs or something like that, like wooty wooty woo. So basically, I can't. I'm not on my phone right now, so I can't pull up exactly what what she said. But I will insert it here. PSA. It's okay to not get hired at the clubs. Y'all want to work at these clubs, um, you know, that goes for a certain look. Um, you can work at clubs on the outskirts. So, I'm going to start there first. So, Ace was making a post because she do post a lot of casting calls. And so, I'm pretty sure a lot of people go back to her page and was like, Oh, I wasn't hired, hired because I'm dark skinned. Or I wasn't hired because I'm more of a heavier weight. So, let me just give y'all my opinion. It's just no way around it. Like, looks matter. And it is what it is. And it's okay. And that's fine. That's just what it is. Um, do I agree with some of the clubs discriminating? No. However, at the end of the day, a preference is a preference. You know, you won't want nobody coming to your house telling you how to run your stuff. And let's just say you had your own business. You won't want nobody telling you how to run your business. A preference is a preference. And it's okay. That's fine. But this is has been an issue ever since we were little girls. Like, you know, the whole light skin versus dark skin thing. It's not a certain look that they go for. Now, I will say there's some clubs out here that will go for the lighter skin tone in the industry because this is a job where you have to dress up and you your, your makeup have to be on point your hair has to be on point you have to look good in the outfits because the outfits we wear are sometimes revealing not all the time but sometimes we do wear revealing stuff being a bottle girl has become a trend so i think that's the reason why a lot of these clubs are buckling down to who they allow to work she even made a post on her page basically saying that she's not hiring nobody that's 21 through 25 like you got to be 25 and older you know they just want the job because it's cute they get to wear cute outfits they get to do that which that's all good but your work ethic still has to be there and also they look at looks first but looks only gonna keep you in the door for so long yeah, they can hire a light-skinned girl with a slim waist and a big butt if she can't keep up with her tables keep up with her sections and book sessions and stuff they're gonna drop her do i necessarily agree with the whole colorism thing no i don't but i do understand that clubs have their preference i remember it was one club i applied to and they just they read my dm looked at my resume and didn't respond but they went for a certain look at that specific club it is a certain look for a certain look at that club and that's okay i'm not gonna get mad i'm not gonna bash anybody because i didn't get hired a club i never have never will it's not that serious to me it's so many other clubs the clubs on the outskirts they're probably a little bit more lenient um because it's on the outskirts it's easier to get hired in a small town than it is here you gotta think about it. there's so many people that relocate to atlanta and so many you know girls and you know what i'm saying so it's going to be a little bit harder the stakes are at a higher rate than it is in like a small town i'm just using memphis as an example because that's where i'm from i'm familiar with clubs out there i used to work out there so that's where i'm familiar with so that's why i said that like it, it's easier to get hired in a club in memphis than it is in atlanta that's just what it is i don't think they really go off looks in memphis um I don't know i've seen all body types work in memphis i've seen all skin colors work in memphis and that's a good thing that's a good thing the work ethic is there clubs are not accepting you for who you are do not go change yourself to work at a club it's not that serious like i'm just gonna say how i say it. it's not that serious and in honestly it is you know it is crazy to say that looks do come first in a club but it, it does it does um she even says something about working at a regular restaurant hooters buffalo wild wings twin peaks like look little restaurants like that that still like sports bars and they can still give you that vibe the only advice i could give as far as how you look on the aspect of maybe like making sure you're on point so like making sure you look good like as far as maybe if you have to you know put a little makeup on or just looking good just looking your best basically she was saying like you can unfollow me or don't follow me because i'm not about to argue with y'all about colorism and trust me i understand like don't be on her page that's what i said i'm not gonna say her name but if you do want the page name for not to bash her but to literally like 
look at the clubs that you would want to work at I would definitely give her because she do post great information but hey you cannot get mad if you don't get hired I mean it just it is what it is I hate the fact that looks are seen first before work ethic work ethic and club because you have to have the work ethic has to be there in the club it's more than, like i said i said that it's more than just a pretty face you gotta really have that hustle mentality the looks just top it but you really you're not gonna make your money just by looking cute so that's why i said i really don't get why they look at looks first because you can hire a bad you can hire a bad bitch but when she get out on that floor she probably I don't know how to work her mouth. She probably don't know how to, you know what I'm saying, talk and stuff like that. Like, and that's shit that you need to work in the club. Like, it's this one club. If you know, you know, it's this one club out here. They only hire light skins as far as the bottle service. If you are of a darker complexion, they're going to put you in the back and make you do hookah. I don't fuck with that. Like, I wouldn't even took that job. To just because you don't work at the, the lit clubs in Atlanta does not mean you're not a good bottle girl. It does not mean that you're not pretty. It's just that that's that club's preference. I'll try to look for more clubs because I will say the clubs that I gave y'all the list, they're more so in the city. But I'll try to go outside the city. and try. I had a couple outside the city, but I'm going to try to go find more outside the city for the girls who do feel like they can't get hired in the city. Because I want everyone to win. When you go to the club, yes, girls go spend money and stuff like that and they get their own sessions. But let's just be real. Niggas are, buying, our niggas are spending more money in the club than girls are. The, the guys are spending more money in the club so they want to look at something good they want to look at something you know what i'm saying and i get it i get it it just is what it is so um that's just my take on that i just felt like i had to speak about that because a lot of you guys do ask me as far as like you know colorism and what size you gotta be if you know a club is only hiring a certain look don't go for that club simple as that you can't get mad that that club is fucked up but you can't get mad it's a couple of clubs i wish i could have been working there right now take it as a grain of salt and keep trying because there are clubs that will hire dark skin girls there are clubs that will hire heavier set girls there are clubs that will hire short girls tall girls uh girls with they wear makeup girls that don't wear makeup like it's somewhere you got to get in where you fit in and if you got to keep trying and keep trying keep trying don't get discouraged so yeah so that's my take on it. if you have anything that you want to add on don't forget to leave it below uh also dm me for anything personal and yes i will see y'all the next one if this is the end of the video if it's not keep watching and yeah y'all this freaking sun is so bright like oh my god i'm trying to see if i, I really want to go to my other job today but at that job i can't wear color hair so i can't even work i could go up there but i'm not gonna be able to work because they don't allow us to have color hair like it be rules like that like <clears throat> some shit you really do just gotta get <laughs> some shit you really do just gotta get over y'all if i want to wear my color i'm gonna wear my color hair but it's just like that that's just a club they, they're going for more of a classier look and y'all know how people view color hair they view it as not being classy they view it as ghetto and I might be a little ghetto, but I'm still be ghetto with black hair in my head. So, what's he? <laughs> like, what's like, what's good? Cause y'all know, like, I worked at um, I worked at like two gentlemen's clubs, two strip clubs, and I know the conversation is. It's always been a conversation at you know some of these strip clubs hire girls who don't have a, um bodies that certain men would like to see if, if that makes sense. I done seen heavy set dancers that can dance they ass off. And I done seen the most prettiest petite girls who just shake their ass and they don't know how to do pole tricks and shit. So that's why I said that look shit really don't matter. And I hate that it's so preyed upon because it really does not matter. Like it doesn't. But at the, like I said, you know, it's all based on the club's preference. If a club's if a club wants to hire all light-skinned girls, that's their preference. If they want to hire all dark-skinned girls, that's their preference. If they want to hire all girls that has a BBL, that's their preference. If they want to hire all girls that have regular bodies, that's their preference. In the next video, I hope this, this video brought light to the situation. I hope I said everything I need to say. If I said anything that offended anyone, I do apologize. But like I said, it just is what it is. Um... 
it's just a preference like girls and, and guys have their preference on who they want to date these clubs are going to have their preference on who they want to work in their establishment it's not cheap to build a club it's not cheap to run a club so of course they're going to want the girls that's going to bring out the, the the guys with the money like it just is what it is in this industry it just is what it is so yeah with that being said you guys i wish you guys blessings happy new years it's like the fourth day don't tell me happy new years and yeah i will see you on the next one Toodles.